Grace. Yes, thank you guys. At 642, Mayor Rick Blangiardi joins us live. Yeah, you're launching a series of town halls for over the next several weeks and just kind of wondering, what are you hoping to kind of get out of these town halls? Well, it's sort of what you just said about Dr. Walensky. This is yeah. about connecting to the community. And one of the things that we're hoping it's going to provide us, because we're taking our entire cabinet with us as well, is an opportunity for everybody to hear firsthand you know, a variety of issues and problems. You know, I think we're aware of some of those, but until you really can get an audience like that and interact, you're not really going to know everything there is to know. And then at the same time, I think we've got some good news in just about every area of things we're working on. I want to be sure that they understand it. But um, this is really a, sort of an educational journey all the way around for us. And quite honestly, to do 11 of them over the next 10 weeks, and this week we're going to be out on the west side studying out there tomorrow night at Evan Mackay Middle School. Uh, at uh, 7 and then Thursday night at Waikiki. Uh, why not? I mean, why why not? not rather, right. I, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I just yeah. was talking about Waikiki earlier, but no, why not? Uh, District Park. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this experience because I've been out there. I've been out on a number of different things lately, and uh, I want our team to have that experience. Yeah. You know, you talk about good news. A lot yeah. of people are really excited to hear that the rail is coming up in July. Yeah. Uh, how is this going to work? Are people getting charged right away? Uh, where are we financially with the project? And how, how good should we feel about this, man? <laughs> well, I think you should feel good about it because, you know, this has been a long awaited. I'm the fourth mayor to touch this, so yes. I'm going to yes. be fortunate enough to be the one cutting the ribbon, you know? I don't know the pricing strategy right now. I think obviously we want to make it attractive. We want to incite and send people, rather incite and send people um, to ride. Uh, I think people are going to be in for a really great experience. I actually have ridden it. Uh, I've taken a ride on it. It's pretty impressive. Uh, I think it's going to surprise some people, especially the view plane. We're just anxious to finally have this underway. And as I said last week, you know, once we begin the service from East Kapolei to Aloha Stadium, what we're really going to be focused on is that intermodal part of it, the express buses, okay, and, and how that really facilitates everybody. But, you know, and then on top of that, we're on schedule to be at Middle Street uh, in two years. And, you know, that gets us through two of the three big employment centers, you know, as we work our way ultimately into Kakako. I want to talk a little bit more about the, the town halls. Anyone can come. Are you just expecting right. a wide range of, of, of questions? I mean, any, anything yes, goes? Yes, anything goes. No holes bud. We're, we're, uh, it's a little bit like coming on this show. <laughs> uh, you know, well, in that here. case. Right, well, well, well you know, then we got some questions for you. Please ask how much is it going to cost for you. It's going to be a lot of money. No, I, you know, it's, it, it's, you know I, I think that's the idea, is to engage people. I mean, I, you know, you, with all due respect, as the team we have, you really can't do it from your offices necessarily. You know, you can't run the city out, out of Honolulu Holly. So as many times as we have the opportunity to get out, but this kind of situation where it's really going to be a sort of a formal setting, if you will, as informal as we want it to be with the people, where we're really going there with a purpose, it's good. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to ask you, because I know you support the sensitive places yeah. issue with the concealed carry. This is a Supreme Court issue. You, you, I know you're trying to comply with that while keeping us safe. Do you foresee legal issues popping well, up in your future? I, I, look, here's what's happened. The Supreme Court came over a ruling said that open carry would be allowed. However, they gave the caveat where the counties could determine where. Okay? Okay. We decided to be aggressive here in Hawaii. If I was somewhere else in the mainland, it might be a different approach, but this is not a gun culture. We've not been one for 170 years. We all sit there, and you're in the news business, and you see and report on all kinds of things that go on with the gun violence. We're looking to minimize that. So at the end of the day, we're taking the latitude we've been given on the Supreme Court ruling. We're still going to uphold right to open, you know, we're, we're going to uphold the licensing, and we're doing that right now because uh, we're not going to go against a Second Amendment ruling. But at the end of the day, I want to protect our, our, our city as much as possible. So, look, I, I've, I've gone through that list a bunch of times. I'm hard-pressed to have somebody convince me why you need to take a gun to a church, you know, or to a supermarket or even a restaurant. We are going to allow private establishments, and the city's going to be producing signs. If you own private property and you want to have guns on, you, you're going to be allowed to put that in there and say guns allowed. That's in a private property. But for the most part, it's going to be... Um, all the places are reasonable. If you go through the list, you sit there and go, that just makes sense. It's really common sense. What comes out of this now, if there should be a legal contest, will remain to be seen. But we, we were aggressive, but we're not overreaching in the sense that we're violating what the law allows us to do. All right. Are you signing it this week? 
Yes. All right. All right, so again, we've got the town halls coming up, uh, and where should we go if we want more information about where and when? I'm sure we're going to have it on our website, Hawaii yeah, so, com. So yeah. tomorrow, 7 to 9, Eva Mackay Middle School, and then Thursday at the Waianae District Park from 7 to 9 as well. That's right. And, right. Then, and then we have it all posted uh, online, and uh, I'll be sure to drop you guys off a, a flyer or two. <laughs> to help us with this. Are you kidding? We're going to yeah. show up, Mayor. <laughs> Look, we're going to be at every I, single one. I, I'm really excited <laughs> about this. I mean, we're going to do two the first week, but after that, it'll be every Thursday night. But I really do think this level of engagement is going to be healthy all the way around. Healthy for us as a team and learning, but really hopefully for the community as well. I want people to feel that they have a voice and that they're being heard and that we're actually not only listening, but doing something about it. Yeah, you're going to be nice. You're, don't be intimidated by the mayor. Come and see I'm him. I'm nice to you, but uh, yeah. You know, no. well, we have a very different relationship. <laughs> I know. That, I, yeah, but you. that no. said, no, we're going to be nice. Yeah, no, I appreciate it, Mayor. All right, thank you, Mayor.